I read a lot of crime novels, uh, mostly British. I hate American crime novels. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Anytime I read a sentence where someone is packing a Glock, I will just shut the book immediately. Um, I'm from the old school of sort of the Agatha Christie kind of line. I'll like P.D. James, Ruth Rendell, Elizabeth George, Barry Maitland. Uh, all of those sort of people where character is at the heart of it. Uh, and I, I love to read a mystery and be ahead of that mystery and uh, find out peop about people while I'm reading that mystery. And so when I came to write, I was going to write in a similar style, in a, in a genre that I understood. Uh, and that's why I started to write, well, they're not really crime, they're more like mystery novels, really. Um, and the great thing about mystery or crime is that it has a beginning, a middle and an end. Uh, and it has been said, not for the first time, that uh, crime writing is for control freaks, people who like to see order in the world, and I am firmly in that mildly OC definition. There, there should be a law, a law of television, that no one is allowed to turn any crime novels into television series. It just doesn't work. Rebus, arrest my case. It's true. The Lindley Mers, the woman who played Havers. In the book, she's like fat. She eats chips all the time. She's given a pint, she's got a fag in her mouth. She's always out of breath from walking. <laughs> in the television series, she's svelte, young, and the only you know, concession to that character is she wears a loose white man's shirt to cover her very taut body. It's stupid. I've been writing a lot of love stories lately, um, and they're not stories I've made up. They're stories that uh, other people give me the raw material and I mill it into gold for their ceremonies in my job as a marriage celebrant. And I suppose the difference between doing that and writing for myself, I mean, I've gone the very short road from being a crime writer to a love story writer, connected somehow, uh, is that you're working with, with other people's uh, stories and you're, you're trying to shape them into something. So you're more of a technician. Uh, but you bring to that all your experience of um, writing fiction and a little bit of non-fiction. Uh, so uh, it's the same sort of set of skills but to a different purpose. And um, I have to say that I... I, I do enjoy it. It's, it's great. I love having a task. Someone gives me a topic and this particular topic is their life and uh, how they fell in love. Um, uh, I love to do that. Are there any lessons that crime writing has taught me that I can use as a marriage celebrant? The most important thing I think is to make sure that no one at the wedding dies and if they do, that there is a clear suspect so that the investigation will not last longer than the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs>